Hello folks and welcome back to a wintry Nova Scotia day here. So about a year ago, pretty much rough, like identically a year ago today, I made a video of driving this truck, my 2021 F450, in the snow. You know, how good is the dually in the snow? And with those Continental tires that come factory on this truck, when they're brand new, it actually did, you know, it did, it did pretty good. But as those tires wear, the shoulders close and they just get less and less and less effective in the snow. Well, as you guys know, I have seriously upgraded my tires. They are much bigger. They're about two inches taller. They're like an inch, inch and a half wider. And they are much, much more aggressive. And my weight rating, here's a big bump. Nice roads and my weight rating total on this truck now with my tires is like 32,000 pounds so these are a heavy-duty tire and they have been awesome I had quick little videos of going back to the cottage and stuff in deep snow but I haven't had a video yet of you know highway driving you know just daily driving the truck in kind of bad weather so that's what we're doing today so I drove from Bridgewater to Dartmouth this morning um, to actually pay off uh, the four ton. So I bought out the four ton because that machine is leaving us. That machine is leaving us. Um, when I left Bridgewater, it was starting to get bad down there. The way our storms always come, they always come from the from the west to the east. So like Yarmouth always gets the bad weather before anywhere else, and it works its way all the way all the way up to Cape Breton. When I left Bridgewater, it, it was like this in Bridgewater then. But when I, the further I came, the roads were bare. Like there was really nothing on the roads. Well now, I'm um, coming up to Timberley right now and you can see what we're into. So it's definitely gonna get worse as we go. But man, this, this, this truck in four wheel drive or, you know, I guess six wheel drive with these tires just do absolutely phenomenal phenomenal um, visibility is not very good I probably will eventually maybe come out get out and pass these pass these cars but they're still going along pretty good I'm not gonna worry about it right now but if we slow down severely then you know I will but we're doing roughly 80 kilometers an hour right now and uh, I mean man she she's stable we're in the clean lane right now it's still icy but as we get closer to Bridgewater, I would assume that uh, the whole highway is gonna be snow covered. So I'll pick it up here in a little bit. Um, I will get out eventually and show you guys the tires if you, this is your first video, but they're the Michelins. I can't remember the name of them right now, but man, they are, uh, they're a heck of a tire, let me tell you that. All right, guys, the last time I made a video like this last year, it was minus like 15, I had a t-shirt on. Oh. Just got a phone call, I got a guy stuck at a site in the valley a technician and i'm trying to get a loader in there to yank him out but anyway i had a t-shirt on it was like minus 15 it's minus eight right now i've got my thin little uh my thin little windbreaker on people are giving me a hard time about that but anyway here we are here's here's the weather here's the truck uh lens is getting lens is getting pretty beat up here give that a wipe off so here are the tires they are the michelin XDE2 Plus, made in Germany. Um, so these are 265, 70, 19.5. So factory wheels, um, and man, so here's the tread. Look at that, look at that. Look at the nice tread it leaves behind in the snow. Here's the duels in the back. Now we're talking, like now we are talking. This thing is a tank. If I had some weight on the back of this thing, man, it would, it would go, it would go some serious places. I've got some more clearance in the front because the old, the old air dam's gone, the snow plow's gone. She's a mean looking rig sitting there right now and it's mean looking weather. So that's a good combination. In the last video, the truck was a lot cleaner than what it is now. A year later of abuse, 63, thousand kilometers engine light got to get that taken care of but anyway it's starting to get pretty nasty out here 
So it's gonna be a good test for it today. That All right, folks, well, we're still trucking along here. We just passed uh, Chester Basin and exit nine, the New Ross Road. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get pretty nasty here this way. I just got past some cars and now I got some cars coming in here. Oh, I was just finally getting to be able to clip along here at you know, a reasonable speed. Now, I'm um, stuck behind these guys again, but um, that just shows how confident the truck is. The last video I made, people were like, oh yeah, he's driving too fast and blah, blah, blah. First off, these are kilometers an hour, not miles per hour. And uh, I've been driving in these roads for over 20 years now. And I have a pretty good idea of, uh, of what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, I'm not flying down the road I'm not going too fast. This is a little too slow for me, but it's not too bad. But I could be doing an extra 15, 20 kilometers an hour with, with, uh, with no, with no issues at all. But uh, yeah, these tires, these tires are awesome. Are awesome. Um, they look good. They perform good. They're not loud at all. They're actually quite quiet. Everything about them is a humongous upgrade over those Continentals. Like I said, the Continentals did pretty good when they were brand new, but as they wore, they are just absolutely terrible. When I was up there in Cape Breton, um, hauling my, my 080 and my 95 around with my gooseneck, if I had these tires on, man, it would have been so much better than those things. Like those things were just, that was scary. That was scary. Cause, uh, Cape Breton is uh, not the easiest spot to drive in, as it is in the bad in bad weather. But then you throw you know 31, 32,000 pounds behind your truck. Yeah, that's a little uh, a little iffy. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I've got another. Uh, well, it depends on how fast I'm going, but probably another 30 kilometers or so to get to where get to where my first stop is so just uh keep clipping along here listening to the music taking it all in and uh continuously thinking about how much i love these tires visibility is just about zero right now it is coming down hard we're only supposed to get like 10 centimeters so uh you know that's like four inches of snow something like that which isn't a lot but man, it is coming down. It's since it's supposed to snow till the evening. If it keeps up like this, we're gonna get a heck of a lot more than 10 centimeters. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I gotta run home and grab the 350. With I got the, the uh, I gotta grab the 350, the plow truck, and head to the building and get that uh, get that scraped down because um, the clinic is going on there. Even though I don't imagine many people are on the roads today, but you never know. Some people. Some people do venture out just like I did, but I gotta get uh, get that opened up and head back on home and uh, probably just do some do some paperwork and stuff for the rest of the day until it's time to go until it's time to go pick Bauer up. I actually might take the car seat with me in the plow truck and uh, pick him up early. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what takes place, but I could drive in this weather on these roads. I mean, I would rather it not be snowing so hard, so it's hard to see. But as far as the road itself goes, I could drive on these roads any day of the week and feel absolutely 110% confident with this truck and with these tires. It just, I mean, the truck's nice and big, you're up nice and high, uh, it's comfortable in here. It's, uh, I don't mind it at all. I've, uh, a lot of people don't like driving in, in bad weather. I don't, I don't mind it. I, it just doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. I actually kind of enjoy it. Usually there's a lot less people on the roads, which is nice. So it, uh, it has its perks, that's for sure. Well, just another safe journey back to the driveway here. Now let's see how how cold and uninviting 
that 350 look. So there's the Chev sitting. That will be on its way doing something tomorrow. We got the gooseneck. We got the Ford. Oh, it was a big hawk. And then we got the old Sure Track. The old Sure Track. She's been sitting there for a while. All right, let's get this thing fired up. <laughs> that looks cold. That looks really cold. Oh. Let the snow fall in on my seat. Oh, not too bad. The old girl. The old girl, 183,574 kilometers. Whoa. She's had a hard old life. She fires up every single time. Now I'll spend the first first half an hour trying to get comfortable in this truck. That is the only thing that I absolutely hate about this truck is this seat. And I know I've mentioned that a bunch of times. You guys are probably getting sick and tired of listening to it. But I just don't, I can't figure out what Ford was thinking with these XLT seats. I feel like I have a, a baseball in my back, a, a, a basketball in my back. Like the, the lumbar support low is extreme and this has adjustable like this is adjustable and it doesn't make a difference i don't even know it's even working right now yeah it is anyway let this thing warm up for a few minutes clean it off a bit and then we'll go pound through some snow and clean some stuff up but anyway guys there it is another journey so that's gonna do it for this video. If you're looking at getting an awesome set of tires for your 450, 550, whatever, because of uh, those Continentals wearing out or you just don't like them, I highly recommend these tires already. Highly, 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 highly. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye.